Hi everybody, well, I'm just out messing around. I haven't done this for years, well, a couple of years anyway. Oh. There we go, got it now. Bollocks. Oh, nearly, 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 stay on. <laughs> oh dear, I used to do that a long time ago in videos. <laughs> I haven't lost it though. Oh my god, no exit. Oh! He's a criminal! Bow! Bow! He's a criminal! Yeah, it's a nice sunny day, Sunday, so I thought oh, I'll get out of a bit of fun. Come round to my old haunts. I've got a few bits and pieces to talk about um, that I'm not really going to get into one vlog. It's sort of just a few things that have cropped up over the time uh, that I was off, as it were. Still open. Yeah! I do have to be careful, um, well I'm happy to remind myself as it were that the uh, bars are about an inch wider, an inch and a half, two inches wider than they used to be. <laughs> I need to be careful when I'm filtering particularly because I'm going to end up taking someone's fucking wing mirror off. <laughs> yeah look at me, I'm filtering, BANG! My hand will be fine, the car will be fucked. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about is the YouTube comment system and its spam system. You may or may not be aware of this. If you're not a YouTuber, you may not be. Basically, there is a comment review system that automatically runs on YouTube, and it basically picks out comments that it thinks are spam. Great idea, apart from the fact that it's shit. If it has any system other than random, I'll be surprised, because seriously, it flags so many comments that are just completely normal um, as spam, and I then have to go onto the video itself, go through the comments, Click on, uh, you know, approve comment, blah, blah, blah. And, oh, it's a fucking nightmare. And you do it, and then the next day, there's another five on that video, and it's just like, fuck's sake. Of course, this causes problems because, um, ooh, got a um, because people are trying to leave comments and then think I'm deleting them and going, oh my god, you said you're fucking dick deleting comments. And it's like, I, I've never really deleted anyone's comment. Even if it's shitty, I'll leave it there and just let other people deal with it. That's the cool thing of getting quite successful on YouTube. You know, people fight your fights a little bit for you. Not that they should really be fought much. Jake, I got some nubbles. 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 <laughs> um, well, there is an off-road use only AC112. So that's that pit bike. Rear wheel. I would have said it was a rear. Yeah, it's a rear. It's got a couple of snails on it. It's got quite a bit of tread left on it, actually. If you want it, it's up here. Over there. So yeah, just basically, if you post a comment that isn't in any way you think, why the fuck would it? Oh, bottomed out. <laughs> um, and you think, why the fuck would he delete that? Or if you leave a shitty comment and you think it's been deleted, trust me, I'm not deleting them. It's the fucking spam shit. Flowers, lovely flowers. Oh, that's the one. Yaw! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> I'm sure there was a couple other things I wanted to sort of bring up. Oh yeah, the fuel gauge! Um, and this is, sort of, is, is a, a little subject of its own, and it's... The co sometimes, as a, as a YouTuber, you get comments which are... You, you question, you're like, is this person really stupid, misguided, or is this a tongue-in-cheek comment? And it's things like, when I ran out of fuel, remember that video? Haha, oh, yes, yeah, very funny, it did happen eventually. It was the first time in seven years I ran out of fuel, and the reason I ran out of fuel was because the tank was on reserve. You know, that's, that's what the reserve's for. But people say things like, and a few people did say things like, you should, or, well, you go better go and fit a fuel gauge now, you know, like a retrofit one. Because, you know, it happens. And it was like, once in seven years? And it was my fault, and your solution to that is to go and fit, which wouldn't be entirely easy, I don't think it would be entirely difficult, but I don't really need to, you don't need it, to go and fit a fuel gauge. Are you insane? Similarly as to when I, uh, knew I was going to be off the bike for a while. People were like, oh, well, go and buy a scooter. Yeah, go and buy a scooter, insure it, and ride it around for three weeks. And then people would be saying, why the fuck didn't you spend that money on your, uh, on your license? Like people did when 
this, um, when I did all the uh, mods and that, I spent about 200 quid in mods. There was a amount of money that went into it, it was fixing, but, you know, I had to do it. And people are like, why would you pour, I don't think that's pouring 200 quid, pour money into this bike when you can just go and do your full license? Well, because a full license, and people keep arguing with me this, look, I don't have a bike big enough to go and do the license, the full license on. And I'm doing direct access. I'm not doing restricted just because of fucking this, that bollocks. I'm going for the full access. And because I'm probably going to need a training day or two, and the fact that I need to use, the, you know, the schools that were bike, the best option for me at this point is to do something like the uh, like three day course or something or, or even a two day or make a custom one because obviously I'm experienced but I'm going to need a little bit of time to get used to riding their fucking bike because it is like a sports tourery type thing. It's more sports than it is anything else I guess. Well that's going to cost me anywhere between probably three, four hundred pounds and if you're now going it's cheaper than that, it's cheaper than that, well maybe it is round near you but trust me I've spoken to instructors about it many times. I've spoken to independents, I've spoken to, you know, schools, and I know obviously there is a side of it that they want you to, you know, spend as much money with them as possible, but the fact of the matter is, I can't take my test on a bike, which is only a 125. It's, and as a lot of my regular viewers will know, or at least the ones that, that pay, you know, raise my attention, I'm planning on doing my full license when I get my claim money from my crash. But the crash was a long time ago now. Honestly, I'm sick to death with talking about my full license because here's a question. What difference do you think it's really gonna make? Because people are like, you really need to go and get your full license. It'll be an SM, it'll probably be a 400. The speed limit is still the speed limit, you know? I can easily ex exceed the speed limit on this bike. I'm not about to start riding like a complete fucking penis. Because you have to remember, maybe unlike yourself, if you don't do it, my riding goes on the internet, and I'm legally accountable for it. So I'm not about to go and do anything dramatically stupid. So my point stands, what difference do you think it's really going to make? I mean, yeah, as I say, I, I agree, I can understand that, well, it'd be good to get on a bigger bike, you know. But it doesn't actually make much difference. But anyway, that's sort of... I didn't want to go too much into that subject, but I end up having talking about it for ages because I always keep getting it thrown back in my face and I'm like, God, you just don't understand. Let me just explain this one again. And it will go quiet for a while now, hopefully. And then you give it a little while and then I'll be back again with, Haven't you got a license? I don't know. I just, want to, I just want to say to people, just remember that this is real life and reality and, and decisions have to be made on logic base, not want base. I got a wave! You see, you ride an SM, you get waves. A salute from the last kid, remember that guy in that video? And he waves! I wonder how many bikes are up here today. It's a sunny Sunday. There should be a lot. Is that the XJR1300, is it? Is that a pair of them? Yeah, it is. I quite like that bike, actually. It's a very classic looking bike. And if I wanted to get a bigger bike, you know, for long distance, I wouldn't necessarily be going to get something, um, uh, fuck it, let's go over here somewhere. I wouldn't necessarily be going to get something, you know, really sporty because that's not my style. If I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna want it to, to do me long distance and then something with a huge engine that can just plod along. That's the ship. I've just been talking about how many people turned up and I just recorded a bit with that guy. <laughs> this is two of my subscribers, two of seven people that have walked up to me in 10 minutes. It's nice to meet you. I'm just going to go and say hello to that guy and then I'm going to shoot off. <laughs> Here's another one of my subscribers. I just filmed a bit with him but the camera fucked up. I'm coming back to get you in a video because it fucked up. Here's another one. And here's his bike. I've actually come to have a look now. It's filthy. I could sign it in, in filth. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'd get you in and it fucked up, so. oh, well. <laughs> see you later mate. Seven people in ten minutes, three people yesterday, here they are, I hid behind a bush. Oh shit, are they, are they, are they doing Yui? I'm, I'm trying not to look, but looking. Does that mean they recognise me? Shit, I don't know, hide behind the bush, that's what I'm going to do. 
Kul bir. Bak. Damn it, sorry. You all right? I wasn't going to hide him behind a bush or nothing. That's so I was just like, hang on, they just turned around, they just recognised me. I'm like, I can't work it out. Cheers, man. Hello, mate. How you doing? I'm alright. <laughs> See you later, mate. There was another guy this morning, and I'm so sorry to him, because I thought the camera was recording at the time and it wasn't. That, again, was my fuck up. I have, I'm just not in my set little routines to make sure the camera's on. Look, it's the 4 by 4 club. I recognise that one. I actually do. I'm sure of it. Maybe they just all look the same. Was this Bikes on the Farm? Four day motorcycle and music festival. Bikesonthefarm.com. Have a look. Come on. As you can see, people have been doing some rolling burnouts. The guy that just did one, and I'll admit, it was, it was quite nice, he was on a Jixxer. He was wearing jeans and a t-shirt, no gloves, and I was just like... You know, sometimes, you, you don't want to see people get hurt. But you almost wish that they could just learn that lesson without getting killed. Ten people in two days. That's crazy shit, seriously, just... Put yourself, imagine that you've just made some videos on YouTube, the next thing you know, loads of people are coming up to you and like, alright mate! And you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> again, I'm going to have to do it again. I'm not famous! I'm not! I'm just known. Now one of the things I'm going to mention that I had to do was, come on, what's here on this corner? Was uh, the throttle housing. As you may or may not know, they have pins in them to stop them spinning when you turn the throttle. And it's done with a drilled hole in the bar as standard. And this pin goes into it. Well, I did not want to drill these bars at all. I just didn't want to do it. Um, I've, I've drilled bars many times before, but never one's quite as nice as this. And also, it says on the packaging, which is amazing, really, for these rental bars, do not mark, scratch, alter, or anything. Don't do anything to them. That's what it says. Which is, you know, it's, the, it's like, well, hang on a minute. Don't you need to drill holes in them? I mean, old-fashioned um, systems, and I'm sure this is right, used to, inside of here, used to have a metal clamp. It was like the bottom went on, then a metal clamp went over the top that was just a U-shape that pinned it down. And um, the top was just more of a cover. Well, I thought I got this... Oh, fuck, I just can't turn my bike off. <laughs> I thought I got that to grip. Um, by using some self-adhesive anti-vibration foam rolled up in like on the back on the bar and then clamped it down onto that worked perfectly until it got wet and it was like ah oh, shit and I moved a tiny bit because like, I don't want any movement so the way I fixed it was inside this throttle housing on this side is completely empty all the throttle st stuff's on the right hand side switches in the middle there's nothing on the other side so I got a jubilee clip believe it or not that was just the right size screwed it up in there got everything at the right angle it took me 10 minutes to get it in just the right place that it would fit um, but that's what I basically did. Jubilee clip inside, put the housing over the top, and now it is solid as a rock. Solid as a rock! So there's a tip, if you've got your switch gear spinning, if you can, because there's space in there, and don't get anywhere near the throttle side where it could jam, if you can get a Jubilee clip on the bar, you can sometimes do it that way. Might be a well-known method, I might have just invented it, who knows. I can't tell you how good it is to be back on the bike, even though... After about an hour's riding, my foot starts to really get sore and swell up in my boot. Um, but it's so worth it. It really fucking is. So you're all getting pointed at now. Hello. Hello. Are you recognising I am then? Yeah, That makes you... The 12th people in two days. Oh, really? 
true. That's very nice. I'm liking that. I'm liking this, but I'm liking that. I am, you're about to get in a, a video. What? You might like it in there. Are you in there? I, I haven't risked it, because I live here. You know what? I am safe. I let him do the stupid shit, and I just look pretty on it. I've been over it a couple of times, but yeah. I don't want to stack it. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have fun? What's that? Did you have fun? Round. Exactly, bit of fun. Anyway, that's so how I'm shooting off home. <laughs> I'll see you later. Do you want to look? Jesus. Oh, oh fuck, fuck me. me.